problems for Mike Stowell in the Wolves goal. Of course, Molyneux is still down to two sides, but Derby supporters are there in voice and get a superb view of the Rams' opening goal from Bobby Davison. Just in a 21 minutes gone, and Mel Sage caught in possession. Wolves whip the ball in quickly. Birch with a shot, and Simon Coleman can't get out of the way and turns it into his own net straight through the legs of Peter Shilton. His opposite number now, Stow, a long ball forward, bit of a flick on, and Simon Coleman and Steve Ball go forward. Well, I won't make any comments on this. I'll leave you to decide your own thoughts on one of the most controversial points of Derby County season so far. And referee Ellery gets out the red card, and Simon Cole. Look at Ormond Road, ready to run into the area. No problem by Cook, and the Wolves fans think they're 2-1 ahead. But referee Ellery, well, he certainly made his mark on the afternoon, isn't too happy. Players have encroached into the area too quickly, and we've got to do it all again. So it's Cook versus Shilton for a second time. Will he vary it? Will he send the ball in the opposite direction? Absolutely identical for the first one. Shilton goes to his left and the ball to the right. And Wolves have a expect. Sage again lifts it forward. And Wolves not really clearing it away properly. And Ormondroy just turns around, sticks out one of his boots. And Derby are level. Eight minutes to go. And looking so we Final drama coming right in the last minute of the game. The ball comes away to Gary Micklewhite, who thinks the best thing to do is go steaming across goal and hit a shot in. Well, was it Micklewhite? Was it Davison? In fact, no, it was a Benetton goal and the Rams 3-2 winners.